of the big band amen a church you can call home amen Woo, hallelujah well we honor god love families we serve others and we pursue excellence bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo you know we want to welcome all our nbc family all those that are visiting and all those of you that are joining us by audio and video all we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive god has something for you don't let him go he's got something for me i want it amen yeah be that bold be strong and be in him amen Woo, hallelujah he's not finished with you he wants to bless you encourage you he wants to change you and you know what he loves you so much he wants to correct you he says hey you, you're heading the wrong way you're going the wrong way and you know what he says i am the only way mm -hmm. the truth and the life nobody goes to the father except through me amen so if he didn't know that now you know so now you know what if you were lost down and out you know now it's time to just say lord I've sinned against you, come on my life, be my Lord and Savior. And guess what? He's not going to put you down. He's not going to turn you down. He sacrificed his son. And Jesus gave his life for you to have salvation. Amen. So be saved. Amen. We're trying to please the world. Start pleasing your God. Amen. And press on with the things of God. Woo, hallelujah. We're going to continue with staying focused. You know, Ooh, before I get too far ahead. Grab your sword, soldier of God. Yeah. And let's make this declaration together. Yes. We have a fellowship waiting. <laughs> I'm hungry. But let's be hungry for the word of God first. Then. <laughs> Praise God. Let's make this declaration together. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, I remind you again, the battlefield is the mind. And you got all kinds of things going through there. But you know what? Get in the Word and get your mind straight. Amen? Get everything straight because the enemy is going to try to put thoughts there. He can't make you. He can't force you to do anything. But he can put some thoughts there. And you know what? If you start thinking about them, meditating on them, next thing you know is you going by the wayside. Yeah. And man, we were supposed to be focused on yeah. the things of God. Amen. How did that happen? How did that happen? You know what? We open the door for the things of the world. Amen. Say, whoa. We got to get our renew our minds with the word of God. Amen. And get our minds right because that is the battlefield. Amen. And that's what the enemy is going to use. He's going to use thoughts. Amen. For you to start thinking on and get off in distractions. Amen. All kinds of things to distract you. Woo, hallelujah. I have a few uh Scripture base I want to read to you. Here's the first one. Stay focused. We're going to be talking about stay focused. Number two it says God has a plan for you. If you didn't know, now you know. Amen. We have scripture. We'll give you scripture. We'll go over some of the things we went through. But if God has a plan for you, and He will be faithful to see you through it. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. You know what? <laughs> We're in the world, but not of the world. Right. We're just passing through. Amen. He says. He is with us. Amen. He says, even though you walk through the valley of shadow of death, fear no evil. Why? Because he is with me. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Wherever you go, he is with you. We talked about this a while back, but we say, you know what? He's bigger than anything. He's bigger than any mountain, anything coming against you. So you got to stay focused on him because he's going to, we're going to pass through. We're passing through. Amen. With him, we're going through. And the Bible says you can do all things through him. Receive your strength, your peace, your grace for you are for you to stay focused and on course. We got to stay on course. You know, when you go on a plant from here to Alpine, you go from here to El Paso, you get your GPS ready and you focus on that. You know, and you're going to stay on it wherever you happen to go. Amen. Is you got to stay on course. We got to stay on course with him on a daily basis. Amen. Because the enemy don't give up. No, he doesn't. He's busy. He right. comes to steal, yeah. kill, and, and destroy. destroy. Amen. He's going to do it every time. And you know what? He is faithful. Uh -huh. Amen. Part-time believer is no match to a full-time devil. He is focused. And he is ready to take you down. Amen. Yeah. So you be ready to stay up. And you know what? You say, just like Jesus, when he was... Yeah, <laughs> When he had been starved, when star, I say starved, he had been fasting. Uh -huh. <laughs> His star said starving. When he had been fasting, the enemy came. Yeah. He said, well, he's at his weakest, you know, so he's going to give in. I have this over him. And Jesus says, it is written. 
Yes. What did he use? He used the word. word God. We need to do the same thing. If that worked for Jesus, it'll work for us. And yes, he tells us all the time, stay focused on me. Stay focused on my word and confess the word. Amen. You know, when you speak the word, is what makes the difference. Amen. Because I'm faithful and I'm staying on him. I'm focused on him and I'm going to stay and, and, and speak what the word of God says. Amen. Right. Don't settle for just... Uh, for anything keep pressing keep moving forward yes basically he wants us to press on why are we pressing on because the greater one is with us yes. he yes. says i never leave you nor forsake you yes. the, we're on god's winning team yeah church we are the church we are the body of christ amen That's it. it's nobody else this is it's, it's us <laughs> so you know what say who i gotta stay full yeah. so i can go and minister to people there's people out there lost that need what you can what you have, what you've got, amen. amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise, Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Whoo! So stay focused too. Ooh, ooh. Praise God. <clears throat> Again, stay focused on God's plan for you. Yes. There you go. Stay focused. Amen. <laughs> you hear this all the time. Stay focused. You know, we used to play a game with the children when we were still uh, uh, preteen pastors. <laughs> we, we taught children for 30 plus years amen and we used to tell them pay attention you know mm -hmm. basically we're saying stay focused but you know what we had a big bowl of uh sweets you know candies and we thought we, we we would give instruction and tell the kids if you pay attention and when i say pay attention if you're the first one to stand up you earn something from the bowl so you stand up you come up and you grab oh you a, a blessing amen <laughs> and guess what man them kids were so focused they was they was paying attention and you know when you saw somebody you never know you just giving the lesson mm -hmm. next thing you know is are you paying attention man you, you have you can you, you we had helpers and they're watching and they see who the first one up because everybody's going to stand up yeah, and we right. had we had lots of kids okay uh -huh. and we had kids uh helpers all over the place and they said this guy you know, or, oh. or she did she was uh -huh. first you know and they came in and got a blessing well guess what we have the blessings of god he made he wants to bless you more and more each and every day but we got to stay focused amen because if you don't stay focused, the world's going to distract you. Things, all kinds of things are going to distract you. Well, he, he, let, me, let me read it to you this way. Stay focused, stay committed, stay dedicated, stay faithful, stay motivated, and stay enthusiastic. Yeah. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. Amen. we got to stay joyful, you know, because the enemy is going to come. And he's going to try to steal, kill, and destroy. And you know what? He's got the world. He wants to come in the church. He wants to come in the church and divide the church. Yes, he does. Amen. So we got to be ready. Amen. And give no place to the enemy. Give no place to the enemy. Stay focused. Amen. And stay positive in this negative world. Because no matter where you go, there's going to be something negative said. So you're going to hear it. You're going to see it. We got all kinds of media, all kinds of ways to hear it. Amen. Yeah. And it's going to come to you. You've got a phone. you got a, a, a TV. you got radio. you got, oh, man, whatever it is you got, you're going to hear it. Yeah. And you know what? If you're not renewing your mind often, you're going to fall for the negative. You're going to fall for the world. And you're going to start pleasing the world instead of pleasing God. Amen. And here's <laughs> something we say all the time. We start magnifying the problem instead of magnifying our God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We got to stay focused stay and, stay and continue to magnify Him and not the problem. Mm -hmm. You know what? He overcame everything. Yeah. And we can do all things through all Him. Things. But we got to stay focused yeah. because distractions are not going to stop. Mm -hmm. Distractions are going to come. Oh, yeah. Amen. And it's so important that you stay focus Woo, i can't say that enough <laughs> keep going keep going stay focused stay focused stay focused and never give up here's the thing the enemy wants you to do <laughs> when you stay unplugged oh. when you get unplugged unconnected mm -hmm. disconnected <laughs> you're gonna give up mm -hmm. amen you're gonna give up and you know you're gonna change teams you know i want to be 
with the world. <laughs> I want to change things. And you tell Jesus, bye. You know, hey, I did good when I was with you, but now I can handle, I, I can take care of myself, you know. I can take care of myself like the yeah. prodigal son, you know. It says, hey, <laughs> I got what I need right now, you know. Hey, you know, I ain't given that spare tire attitude oh, treatment, you know. Say, spare tire, you stay there. If I need you, I'll call on you. That's, <laughs> that's like the way we treat him sometimes, you know. It's oh. like, if I need you, I'll call you. I'll call. It's kind of like. We're, he's at our call, you know, so yeah. just call him when you need him. That's all. That's the only only time we want him around. Come on now. Am I preaching to somebody? <laughs> Says never give up. That's what the enemy wants you to do. Give up, give up. He wanted Jesus to give up so bad. But Jesus never gave up. I gave up. And he says, you know what I need you to do? And greater things. Why don't why? Because I go to the Father. Amen. So praise God. Keep going. Follow. Here's a... Uh, the oh, acronym wow. for uh, follow forward, oh, focus, focus. Giving. It says follow one's course until successful. You have a course, or you could say you have a plan. God has given you a plan, but don't give up till you're successful. Yes. Each and every day you focus on Him, stay focused on Him, and follow that plan He has for you. Yay. What He wants you to do, be Christ like each and every day. You know, you're the closest thing to Jesus. You're the closest thing to a Bible. You'll be around people all the time. You're the closest thing. They'll never be around a Bible or a church. Mm. They'll be close to you. And what comes out of you, what you show, what you see, uh, what you uh, show is what they're going to see as far as being Christ-like. Mm. Say, wow, this person, this person, man, woman, whatever, Man, they're the closest thing of Jesus I ever seen. Mm. And you know, I want what they got. You know? So, praise God. Come on now. Amen. But you can do all things through Christ. Don't make it hard on yourself. Amen. And you know what? <laughs> Your friends, people, the world's going to say, you know what? This is hard to do, you know? We, we need to stop being only Sunday morning Christians. believers, you know, oh. Christians, you know. We got to do it each and every day. Come on now. You know, just like Jesus. He's our greatest example. Yep. Amen. Amen. So not just Sunday morning. Say, hey, I go, you know, when doors open for our church, you know, on Wednesdays or on Sundays, you know, uh -huh. or maybe once a year or maybe for Christmas or uh, uh, Easter. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Stay focused. Oh, don't be distracted. Get yeah. and uh, get, uh, excuse me, don't let uh, distractions get you off course. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's going to happen all the time. Yeah, we are. Amen. It's going to happen all the time. You know, say, hey, you know what? They may be working on the road. And they'll say, you know what? you got to change directions. you got to change course. But that's all right. I know where I need to go. I'm focused on where I need to be. Mm -hmm. I'm focused on where I need to go. Yeah. Amen. I may change course, but I'm coming right back yes. to where God wants me to be. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Woo, yeah. Hallelujah. And you know what? He about to change course on you mm -hmm. because there was something going to happen right there. Right. You know, or something happened right there. And you know what? You missed it. Because you was focused on what he wanted you to do. Mm -hmm. You know, don't be so hard to say, man, I'm going to go through even the bridge is off. I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm just going to drive <laughs> off of it, you know. Let's hope not. <laughs> Let's do not do that. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, my. Uh, oh that's my good. We, we read this. It says, oh a thief God. comes except uh, mm -hmm. to steal, to kill, and to destroy. It says, Jesus says, I come that you might have life, life. and have it more abundantly. Amen. You know how you're going to have life more abundantly? If you stay focused right. on the uh -huh. things of God. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. If you stay focused, because Amen. distractions are going to come. Yeah, distractions yeah. are going to be there. Oh, and sometimes God. we get a little tired and we get a little lazy and we want to get a little comfy, you know, and we don't want to do that no more, you know. But He's telling us to do something. Yeah. Read something. Or go share something, uh -huh. but we just don't want it. <laughs> don't want to do it right now. But we can do all things through him. Oh, and yes. But know that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But he says, you can have life and have more money, right. but you got to stay focused yeah. on him. Amen. Keep going. Yeah. Woo. There you go. There's your plan. It says, I know the plans I have for Jose. Oh. Hey. Yes. I have for you, declare the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Yes. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Yeah. We need to, we need to know this. Amen. Because you know what? Hey, 
I think there's a uh, Bible study on Wednesday. We've been on a series of God is not your problem. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The enemy, people, friends, families, whatever, they're going to tell you, well, God caused that to happen to you mm -hmm. because, no, you know, no, no, no. <laughs> no. let's not go there, you know. It says, I don't think so. Amen. <laughs> Why would he put sickness on you right. if he sacrificed his son right. and put it on the cross right. for him and put stripes on him, you know? Why Why would he do that? It's no sickness in heaven to give you. Not at all. Amen. So, we got to be careful of what we hear. Mm -hmm. We got to renew our minds. That's not what the Word of God says, you know? And you know, say, excuse me, is this scripture? No. Mm -hmm. No, I just heard somebody say that, you know? Well, <laughs> If it's not scripture, That's don't receive it. 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 Amen. If you have scripture, give it to me. Mm -hmm. Where can I find it? I want to go check it out yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. Amen. <laughs> don't just receive anything. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. It's not it's not the word of God. That's it. Keep going. Ooh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm I'm excited for the things of God. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Renew your mind. Stay focused. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know what? I forgot that. Read you something else. It goes like this. It says, stay focused, stay hungry, stay connected to Jesus. Troubles come to everybody. He says, tribulations, troubles will come. They come to me, Jesus says, they'll come to you. But know that you can overcome these. Amen. Because he is with us. Troubles will come to everybody, yet Jesus is your source of all your needs. He says, I'll supply all of your needs. Amen. I says, when cares, fears, anxieties, worries, doubts start to pull you down. And if you're not really knowing your mind, the world is going to pull you down. Yes. Amen. And things are going to get so clogged. And, and you know, it's gonna, you're going to feel like, man, you know what I need? I need a drink. <laughs> I need a drink. You know what? I need a pill. You know what? I need to give me. I need. I need a shot. You know. I need to give me. I need some drugs, man. I no. You need Jesus. That's what you need. You need the Jesus, man. Woo, hallelujah. It says when you start to feel yourself being pulled down, you you have unconnected, unplugged, or unfocused from your power source. And what is your power source? Jesus is your power source. You know, uh, I wrote this. It says, power tools are great to have. But you know what? Without power, they're useless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't saw, you can't use it, that uh, power saw without the power. Amen. It, it's, it's no good. <laughs> so let's remember that we need that power. Plug back in to your power source. Jesus, he's your source of love. He's your source of faith. Forgiveness, health, patience, peace, hope, and He's your source of strength. Yes. Amen. And listen, who would have thunk of this? <laughs> the joy of the Lord is your strength. How is joy going to give me strength? You know, <laughs> I don't need joy, man. I don't need to get mad. I need to. I need to hit somebody. <laughs> you know, that's not going to give you strength. Since the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yeah. Look at the things that He went through. Amen. And then you come back and he says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. Amen. Man, he's our greatest example. Yes, he is. Amen. I say, oh my God. Woo. Man, the Bible says he could call these legion of angels to come and help him. But you know what? He was going to fulfill and yes. stay focused on what Father told him to do. Yes. And we need to do the same thing. Right. Yeah. Stay focused. Amen. Woo. She says, he's your source of strength. Your source of all that you need. Amen. Amen. It says, stay focused, stay hungry, stay connected to Jesus. Because He is your power source. He's the power source that you need. Amen. Uh -huh. And listen, we fight a spiritual battle each and every day. Mm -hmm. A spiritual battle is stronger than your flesh. Yeah. So if you attack it with the flesh, guess what? Mm -hmm. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. We need his word. Yes, we need the word of God and we need him yes, and we need to stay focused. Amen. So I can't say that enough. <laughs> Have I said it enough? No. <laughs> no. 
to go renewing our minds. We need to renew our minds. Amen. Yeah. So it says, don't copy the behaviors and customs of the world, uh -huh. but let God transform you into a new person by yeah. what? By changing the ways you think. Mm -hmm. Then you will learn to, uh, to know God's will for you, which yeah. is good and pleasing and perfect. Yeah. That is the New Living Translation. The New, mm -hmm. new King James says, don't be conformed to this world, mm -hmm. but be transformed by what? Yeah. Renewing yeah. your yeah. mind. Yeah. Now I know what the word says. So I'm going to be focused on what the mm -hmm. word says. I'm going to be focused on him. Amen. By renewing my mind. And where is the battlefield? Mm -hmm. The mind. We need to know this because we think it all the time. Mm -hmm. And we know better. <laughs> I thought it and I just spoke it. Mm -hmm. No. Think it. And say if, if it's not going to bless me, mm -hmm. if it's not going to bless somebody or say something good about somebody, right. don't say it. Amen. You had a choice. Yes. And you want to pick the right choice. All right, now. It says, renew your mind that you may prove what is that good right. and acceptable and perfect, perfect will of God. God. Yes. And, you know, Jesus had many opportunities to say, you know what, Father? <laughs> mm. These people don't appreciate me. <laughs> These people don't care about me. One week, mm. they received him as king of kings. Yeah. The next week, they crucified him. Yeah, and okay. then they release a, a murderer instead of releasing Jesus. Yeah. Who should I release? Mm, Barabbas. <laughs> no, man. I mean, that is sick. You know, that is not good. That's not... We we, we know better. Mm -hmm. Amen? And sometimes we just... <clears throat> yep. Oh, we see it. Let's not do that. Amen? <laughs> Keep going, Carmen. Mm -hmm. These are good. I can, yes. Bible says I can do some things. All things. All things. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can do all things through Christ. Who strengthens me? You need strength? Lord, I need your strength. Yes. I guarantee you, Jesus went to the Father when he needed strength each and every day for him to fulfill the mission the Father sent him to do. Yes, yes. He knew he was going to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. If you knew he was going to be sacrificed, would you go along with what the Father says? Mm -hmm. You sent me here to be sacrificed. And I got to live with this every day. Mm -hmm. I got to renew my mind yes, to the things of yes. God. I got to stay focused on what God, on fa or what Father sent me to do. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I start thinking and say, man, I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my. Amen. Yes. But you know what? We can do all things through Christ. All things. Which strengthens me. Lord, I need your strength Praise every day. God. When you wake up, you go to Him and you worship Him. And, and, and says, this is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. You know what? Because there's this, uh, what is it? A hurricane coming. There's a tornado coming. There's rain coming. There's uh, whatever's coming each and every day. If you have Christ with you, you know what? It doesn't matter what's coming against you. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Whatever you're facing, guess what? He's bigger. Yeah. And I'm on his team. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. God. Keep going. Man, this is good, Carmen. Yes. Colossians 3 and 2 says this. Set your affections on things above, not on things of the earth. You know what? If you set your affections on things in the, in the world, it's going to fail. Yes. It's going to go by the wayside. Yeah. But you set your affections on things above. He says, this is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to set my affections on things above and not on things of this world. Yeah. You know, if I start say, thinking about this world, I'm thinking about, man, all these things I have to do. Oh, gosh. Man, I, I don't want to go to work. I don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. I want to give up. Forget yeah. it, you know. Mm -hmm. You know how many people are killing themselves? Mm -hmm. Because too much pressure. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because they're taking all the cares mm -hmm. onto themselves. They're taking all the mixture weights yes, on themselves. Yes, yes. Instead of saying, you know, Heavenly Father, I cast all these things on you because you care for me. You love me. And I don't have to carry these things. You know what? You've got other things for me to do. And I'm going to stay focused on what yes. you want me to do. And yes. not on things of this world. That's it. That's Amen. It. You start thinking like this world. You know what? You're going to fail in a heartbeat. Yeah. And you know what? If you drop dead, guess what? They will replace you so quick oh, with somebody right. else. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> Keep going. Ooh. Hallelujah. Thank you. So, look straight ahead. Fix your eyes on what lies before you. Yes. Amen. I'm going to stay focused on Him again, 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 and again. I'm going to focus on what His Word says. 
but I need to know what his word says for me to be focused on it, you know? Hey, because you know what? Distractions are gonna come. They're gonna to try to distract you and you're gonna get unfocused and unplugged and disconnected. And you allow that to happen. Amen. The enemy's gonna see yeah. that you're distracted so that you cannot be focused mm -hmm. on the things of God, so that you can fail. Mm -hmm. He didn't no. put you here to fail. Okay. He put you here to win. Mm -hmm. See yourself a winner. See yourself a champion the way he sees you. Amen. Amen. He made you an original. Don't go around just calling yourself, I'm a copy of whatever. No. 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 You're an original guy. Yeah. Yeah. You make no one else like you. And you're special to him. You. So see yourself that way. <laughs> you are as somebody. <laughs> Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Oh, yeah. Proverbs 16 3. Ooh, man, that, that, that is awesome. Yes. That is yes. awesome. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And keep going. These are good. Thank you, God. Yes, they are. <laughs> For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. Know this. You know why? Because the enemy is going to use fear. Steal, kill, destroy. Yes. Amen. And fear is opposite of faith. Yes. For the, yes. He says we walk by faith, faith and not by sight. Not by sight. Amen. Because you know what? If, he, if you're walking in the flesh and you're walking by sight, you know, mm -hmm. fear is going to come. Mm -hmm. And it's going to overtake you. Yes. And you're going to do things and you're going to want to give up. Oh, yeah. Amen. You're going to want to give up. But you know what? You're not yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. You've been bought with a price. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You don't belong to yourself. <laughs> so don't go hurting yourself no. because you belong to Him. Yeah. He bought you. Uh -huh. He bought you back. Amen. He paid for you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So just remember that. You yes. are somebody. I'm a somebody. Amen. Yeah. I'm a child of God. Amen. Amen. If you're going to call yourself names, call yourself a child of God. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Don't go around calling yourself a fearful thing, you know. Oh, Keep going. God. We went through this. Let me read it to you. Well, Matthew 6.33 says, But seek first the kingdom of God, His righteousness, and all these things will, be, will give, be given to you as well. This is what I like here. It says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, but tomorrow is going to worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Amen. And here we are multiplying all the troubles, you know, by thinking about tomorrow and the next week and the week next week and next month and next year, you know, and we're bringing all these things. How am I going to do it? Oh, well, it's not about you. Right. You, you live daily for Him That's and right. stay focused on Him. And now how I'm going to do it is how God wants to do it through me oh, and how He wants to use me. Yes. And you know, yes. uh, we haven't said this in a while, but see yourself a participator. Yes. When you're a participator, meaning you're making yourself available yes. to be used to God. You know, sometimes we just kind of separate ourselves and say, mm. well, I'm not that good. I'm not good enough. You know why? We've been hearing, listening to the world. We've been listening to people, of jealous people that don't want you to be involved. Oh my goodness. Come on. Be a participator. Be involved. Be available. That's what he wants. He wants somebody to be available. Who's going to do it? He is. Who's, who's, who's greater? Who's bigger? He is. He just needs a vessel. He just needs us. To be available. Yes. It's not about how you're going to do it. It's how he's yeah. going to do it Amen. through you. Wow. And you know what? Sometimes all he wants us to do is open our mouth and say the right things. Yeah. Amen. Confess the word. Uh -huh. Amen. That's all he wants to do. Yeah. Say, walk up to somebody and say, you know what? God loves you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And say something kind and something nice. Mm -hmm. You know, kindness is the greatest gift you oh can give. Gosh. And be right, kind man. to somebody, amen. You see, hey, you know what? I can cut somebody out in a heartbeat. Mm. Didn't bless anybody. No, it didn't. Make me feel good. Mm. But that ain't good enough. Nope. That was not what Jesus died for. Mm. <laughs> he wants you to be nice. Be nice to somebody and let them know. You know, God loves you. Me? He loves me? Yes, you. I'm all homeless. I have nothing. Yes, you do. God has something special for you. He has blessings for you. All you need to do is
confess him as your Lord and Savior, start living for him and start confessing what his word says Amen. about you and start doing what that word says. And you know yes. what? Those blessings are for them too, you know. But you know what? They heard it through you. Amen. Because all you did was open your mouth and share it with them. Yeah. You want me to tell that person, that homeless person? You want me to talk to that person that smells, that stinks, you know, that's no good, you know, drunk, down and out? You want me to tell them something nice? Mm -hmm. be you. Yeah. Remember where you used to be. Absolutely. Right. And where God brought you from. Right. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And He set you free. He says they overcame by the blood of the mm -hmm. Lamb and the word of their testimony. testimony. You got a great testimony. Share it. When Jesus says share it. Amen. Yes. Since death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat the fruit. Will eat its fruit. Proverbs 18, 21. You know what? We can all speak words. But are we speaking the right words? We need to speak the right words. Amen. Because you can speak life. Or you can speak death, Definitely. or you can be positive, or you can be negative. Mm -hmm. And you know why? Well, <laughs> I need to read it from you. <laughs> church, beware, stay focused. Our mission with the gospel church, not the gossip church. Oh. Amen. <laughs> speak, <laughs> speaking the negative, listen, mm -hmm. speaking the negative is a problem that never helps. That's it. Amen. It keeps us in bondage. Amen. You're keeping yourself in bondage. Speaking positive is a solution. It's the truth that sets us free. And when you speak the positive, you're staying focused and Amen. saying the right things God wants you to say. Make quality decisions daily to stay focused, be positive in spite of a negative world, negative people, or circumstances and distractions. Yeah. Man, that was a... <laughs> so words are powerful. Yes, they are. Amen. Isaiah 55, 11 says... That the word goes out and accomplishes what I send it out to do. That's how strong, right. that's how powerful words are. He spoke things into existence. Right. Mm -hmm. He spoke to the wind. Right. Be calm, yeah. be still. Mm -hmm. We can do the same thing. He said, what I did, you can do also. Uh -huh. But you know what? We don't take it serious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we, we can. Yes. Yeah. 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 What we need to do yeah, is get it in us so we can come out. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> I better not say that. Yeah. Isaiah 55 11. <laughs> did, I, did I give you the right one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm glad somebody checking in. <laughs> Stay focused. Have a winning attitude. You know what happens when you have a winning attitude? Mm -hmm. You have victory in Jesus. Yes. That's a beautiful song. Victory yes. in Jesus, my Savior forever. Ever. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful song. <laughs> Seek Him first. Amen. Matthew 6 33. Uh, Psalms 118 24 says what? This, this is the day the Lord has made. Lord, I will, I will, Jose will rejoice mm -hmm. and be glad in it. But yeah. you don't understand there's a hurricane and we're going to get all kinds of rain. We're going to get snow. We're going to get hail. We're going to get the rain. hot day. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Speak the word. Amen. The word. Confess the word. Refuse to quit when things get tough. That's it. Amen. <laughs> When things get tough, the tough get going. Yeah. Right. Jesus gave his example. Uh -huh. Amen. And all the Bible heroes that he used, mm -hmm. man, they got them stepping out. Amen. Yeah. Moses finally, he says, lead my people out of Egypt, you know. And he says, I will. But he needed help. He said, I can't talk. He says, well, Aaron will be your speaker for you. Yeah. Amen. He's your helper. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When we're in the desert, the people is complaining. They want to go back. Amen. And Jesus, Moses finally told Jesus, "You know what? I need some help. I had enough of this. You know, you know what? He says, just kill me. <laughs> he says, just kill me because I don't want to do this anymore. He said, or send, or send me help. I need help. It's all right. You know what? God's going to put the right friends, the right help." Yes. around you that you yes. need for a short season for yes. a mid season or for years to come yes. but yes. he's going to put the right people there you yes. know yes. and he's going to remove the negative people yes. that don't need to be around you anymore yes. amen Ooh, hallelujah thank you yes. Lord yes. <laughs> so stay focused stay hungry stay filled with yes. him and be positive stand when he says to stand yes. Ooh, hallelujah thank you Lord see the good in all not just the fault that's it. And that's what we 
come in, you know. Sometimes all we see is the fault. Yes. And we speak the fault and we speak the problem more than we speak what the Word of God says. See the good in every one of them, you know. The same Jesus that died for you, died for them. That's it. And there's hope for them just like there's hope for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen. And the grace of God is big enough for any one of us. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Keep going. Praise God. Yeah, that's good right there. <laughs> stop the negative talks, stop the murmuring, stop the complaining. You know, everybody wants to be this. Everybody wants to be negative. Everybody wants to murmur and complain. You know, we need to stop it. Just because we hear it don't mean that we got to pass it on. Right. Say, hey, it's going to stop here. Hey, you didn't, you're supposed to tell somebody this. It stops right here. I'm not going to talk the problems. I'm going to magnify him. Amen. Control your words. Guard your guard your mouth. Yeah. I, I wrote this. Uh, zip the lip. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes so we just we just we just have to say it. Mm. I'm just going to get, give you a piece of my mind. <laughs> the Bible says, well, it says don't get hung by the tongue. Think before you speak. The battlefield is the mind. We got to renew it and stay focused because you want to speak it out and you want to say it. You want to repeat what you just heard. Man, that sounds good. I'm going to say it too. Well, you can have what you say. <laughs> Come on, you still up, Pastor? Right. <laughs> Listen, we frame our world by the words we speak. It's a big world, but we frame our worlds by the way words we speak. That's how powerful words are. So be positive. You have a choice. Positive or negative. Mm -hmm. You have a choice. You know what? If it's going to be negative, mm -hmm. don't say it. Because you can have what you say. Taste your words before you spit them out. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you say taste them? Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if it don't taste good, don't say it. Don't say it. That's good. But if it's going to be good, it's going to bless. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and say it. Amen. Yes. He wants us to. But we got to stay full. Stay yes. full. Amen. You yes. know what? When you stay full, you're going to overflow. And yeah. when you overflow, you're uh -huh. going to overflow. And blessings are going to pour out of you. God's using you to bless somebody else. Amen. Woo. Amen. You ever heard of give? And it shall be given unto you. Yes. Amen. Bless. Amen. Be a blessing. Woo. Amen. Yeah. He says, we're so blessed to be stressed. No. <laughs> Don't no. allow yourself to be stressed. Stressed because you're so blessed to be God. Blessed Amen. To be Ooh, hallelujah. So blessed to be stressed. Magnify him, not the problem, and stay focused. Talking about the problem will not bring them down. Talking the problem will not cause it to go away. Yes, Amen. Yes. Speaking the word will move it or remove it. Mm. Problems of tears, worries, sickness, financial problems, marital problems, uh, habitual sin. I mean, these things you yes. want to speak to them and they've got to go yes. don't let them speak right. or dictate to you right. say wait a minute <laughs> and a lot of times all you do is thinking so what do i do if i'm thinking it mm. renew your mind yes. amen. replace it right. with the, what the word of god yes. says amen. <laughs> amen you can do something about it yes you can it says you speak to them mm. the word of god amen I know. You know that little cup you got? You got a lot of good scripture on there. <laughs> and you know, you got a problem with something, some weakness or something, you go find it in the accordance, or concordance, excuse me, <laughs> and find out what it says about this, and go find it, and, and, and start confessing what that word says. Uh -huh. Amen. Speak against it. Philippians 4, 6 says this. Four, Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Be anxious for Nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, uh -huh. let your request be made known to God. God. your friend. No. God. We're going to share with friends that can't help us. Oh, We're going to share with friends that got bigger problems than you do. Oh, and it's, they don't know anything. You know, hey, you know what? You know what I do when that happens to me? I just go have an extra tequila. No. Oh. No. no, no. <laughs> no. You know, I just go give me an extra shot, you know. No, uh -uh. no they don't. They, and you know, if you don't have your mind renewed, you're going to fall for that. Yeah, right. So you don't want to give them to that. 
says, <laughs> let your request be made known to God. Amen. Amen. You don't have to go to confess to somebody else. But you go confess to him. You know why? He already knows. But you know, he's waiting for you to come visit with them. He's not, you're not letting them in until things are down and out. Things are bad. Then you want to visit with him. He says, and the peace of God, which passes, surpasses all of the sins, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. He already knows. You just got to go spend time with him. He wants to be personal. He wants to be intimate with you. You know, yeah. that's what Christianity is all about. You know what Christianity is? The difference between Christianity and religion is this. Christianity is having relationship with your Heavenly Father. Relati uh, religion is just a little bit of God and a whole lot of man-made rules that you can't live up to. And you cannot fulfill. Hallelujah. <laughs> God wants you to have true peace by not worrying about a thing. Worrying is sin. Yes, yes. If you're not trusting and having faith in Him, it's a sin. He's already told you, give it to me. If you ain't giving it to Him, you're still walking in that. I think we say, it says, if, 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 <laughs> if you pray, then don't worry. But if you're going to worry, why pray? You know, if you confess it to Him, Leave it there and don't bring it up anymore. And if it does pop in your head, then you just press the link. I said, you know what? I gave it to him. So, Satan, if you want to bring it up again, go see the Father. Right. <laughs> go see Jesus. I already gave it to him. He's got it. So you go to him. I'm free from it. I'm forgiven. Amen. When he's forgiven it, he said he'll forgive and forget. We need to do the same thing. We need to forgive and forget. But the enemy and the mind, they go is going to come back. And you gotta re, re, renew your mind and say, uh-uh, it's gone. I'm not I'm not going back to that no more. First Peter 5 and 7 says, Cast all your anxieties, all your cares on him, because he cares for you. God is called. Listen, if you didn't know this, now it's time for you to know this. God has called you, anointed you, and equipped you to fulfill your mission. If you're here in this earth, it's for one reason. That's because he has a mission for you. You're not here just to live a few few years, you know, have a good time, and die, and that's the end of it. No. When you die, it's only the beginning. Amen. But he has a call to you. If you don't know, you're just going to say, well, I'm just born, you know. I'm just a nobody. I don't even know my father and my mother, you know. I'm just an orphan. <laughs> yeah, but you have a God. Yes. When you receive him as your Lord and Savior, he's your heavenly father. Yes. And you're a child of God. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. He's called you, anoint you, and equipped you to fulfill mm -hmm. this mission. You're yes. on a mission. Amen. Yes. To share the good news of the gospel. It's good news. Not sad news or gossip yeah. news. It's good news. <laughs> That's what gospel is all about. By doing this, we can stay focused in fulfilling what God has called us to do. So we'll stop right there. Amen. Yeah. So those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening. It is faith in Christ that enables us to stay focused and be positive yeah. in a negative world. Overcome yeah. This world by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Jesus Christ is a positive testimony. We bring others to Christ. Amen. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. So stay focused. Guard your words. Watch your words. Watch your actions. Speak faith filled words. Yes. Amen. Amen. You have a choice. And you gotta you 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 have to fulfill that choice. Amen. Amen. Guard your words. Uh Guard your mouth, God, uh, guard your words. And then your mouth or your tongue is yes. the words you speak. Zip the lip. Stay focused in a positive and negative world. Mm -hmm. Don't join the wrong crowd. Don't copy the world. Be the original God made you to be. Amen. Renew your mind with the word of God. Study, meditate, grow, and go for him. And stay focused, child of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Did you learn yes. something? Yes. <laughs> I did. If you did, not take it. <laughs> Praise God. Those of you watching, those of you listening, if you never accepted Christ, you know, now is the time. 
quit putting it off you know yeah, yeah. stay get focused and stay focused on the things of god and say you know what god put me here on a mission he called you he anointed you and he equipped you it's time you stop listening to what the world has to say yes. it's stop time you stop listening to what people say is that you're not good at and know that you have been called that you've been anointed and equipped to fulfill this mission god has you on amen all you need to do is say lord i've sinned against you come into my life be my lord and say amen you know what he's not gonna turn you down amen but you start living for him start confessing what the word of god says start meditating on the word and start uh going to church you know and start going uh to a bible-based church where you can learn and have people around you and encourage you and help you as you as you grow in the things of god amen praise god you have sickness in your body do what i do i speak the word over me by jesus christ i am healed so body line up with the word of god and be healed amen no malfunctions in my body from head to toe everything functions in the way god created it to function amen mm -hmm. sickness you have no room and no 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 no, no uh, place in my body i command you to go in jesus name i receive no sickness in my body i command you take authority over you and i command you to go in jesus name Amen. Woo, hallelujah thank you lord and it's time to give so go to our website it should be on your screen it says nbcbigben.com hit that donate button uh if you're mailing it nbc po box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843. And for Cash App, go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Day. God loves you and we love you. Stay focused. Praise God. Thank you, brother. Hallelujah.